That's a genuine medieval verb. Meet the end, not for long. Well, he's showing oh, great fighting qualities, Colin Lloyd, as you would expect. One of the best in the world. The world number one. It was interesting when he celebrated winning a leg at last there, seeing a wry smile as he walked back. This man didn't even look at him. He was keeping his concentration. He didn't want to get involved in a joke with Colin Lloyd. Now, two, three years ago, Mason would have been grimacing and ducking and damp eyes when he was disappointed with his shots, mind for a bloke who averaged 107 for most of this match, he's had 115. Not much to get down by the about. 60. It's one weakness though, Sid, as I mentioned before. This is the time of a match. He can set a blistering pace. He can play quite brilliant darts. But all too often, he struggles when it gets to finishing off big matches in front of big crowds here and anywhere else. That has been his Achilles heel. But all right, if you're a, you're a totally non-darts on Iraq or whatever watching, which one of these is the world number one? Which one of these is showing composure? Which one of these is not sweating one droplet? Miss! Well, Lloyd 9-4 down, does have an opportunity here to peg the gap back to three legs. First two, 11. And just got off the boil a touch in the last couple of legs. Take your point about closing it out. But if you've started a game like he has, then there's surely going to be a slack patch at some stage. Ball for Lloyd, and to pull it back in. Well, here he comes now. 9-6. It's bubbling up to one of the very best games we've had in 12 years of darts on Sky. to the last 32 stage. Chris Mason against Lloyd is an epic and it looks like there's going to be a winner on 4-5 and Adrian Lewis, the Taylor protege, is the first man through to the last 16, whitewashing Colin Monk 11-0. Here on stage one, Chris Mason is two legs away from victory. Hi, my job is Thomas Kears, me and Stuart Pike. It's to tell you about the stars of the future. Adrian Lewis on Stoke on Trent. A Stoke. The lad is not trying to point his star to the dartboard. A Stoke poker. It's a talent for the future. But you're looking at the talent. Who's really ringing the bells here at Bull and now Chris Mason. Oh. Once. Well, you talked about ringing the bells of Bolton. Hey, this is ding ding round 16, and we've possibly got 21 of them. And it has been, well, just dream dancing. There's a great match 1995 on Sky with Lobo and Taylor. She had 10 legs where they never used more than 17 darts. There was a great final when Pinder looked to have Taylor dead and buried it 4 1 down. Taylor Jordy. Eddie Cox said, I hear you know a fat lady singing, Phil. This is up there with the Sky Classics. This is brilliant. Top six I've ever seen in 10 years. This. 131. Well, praise indeed for these two men. Makes it 136. Lloyd will have to pull out a top checkout, I think, to stay in the game. 170, he's done it once before. And he's asking the world number one. To do 170 finishes. You've heard of great pretenders 60. and crown princes. Mace the ace, future world champion. Look at the taps. And one dart, and he needs one leg to go through to the last 16. Lord is happy. Now, let's see if Mason can finish it off. Well, I hope she doesn't jump out that nifty little black number. But what a match and what a talent. I have massive respect for Colin Lloyd. He is a great player. But this kid is kissed with genius. 100. Well, Lloyd hasn't done too much wrong in this match. He's, he's missed a couple of important doubles at crucial stages. But uh, the average is around about the 99 mark for both of them. Seven maximums from Mason. We've seen five from Lloyd. Um, the highest quality just the best sporting entertainment you could wish to see.
And also with a 22-year-old James Wade coming through by Blitz and Margle. And Adrian Lewis coming through, 11-0. The youngins, what an age of young players coming through. Aaron Mace is in his early 30s now. He's got world champions very soon written on him. No sweat at all. Could take this title tomorrow night easily. I'll tell you what, I think it's good news to produce darts like this, but if he does win this match against Lloyd, he is going to take some beating. Tops though for Lloyd to stay in it. Tops it is. 120 check out. That's a measure of the man, the world number one. You won't give this up. You can bet your life on that. Well, a couple of weeks ago in Manchester, Lloyd beat 16-4 in the final of the ANA.com. That's Premier League. They're the 15 to 13 to the 14 daughters to put a bit here on that scoreline against the Magic Taylor. But he's going to have to dig even deeper to get back at this guy. Can't see it happening. Well, even the great Taylor would have had to produce his A++ plus, plus, plus game 100. to stay with Mason in this form. But Lloyd has done just that. He's got to win them all from here, though. Mason needs one more leg to beat the world number one. Well, nobody got better respect for this lad in the blow than Taylor himself. Remember, he got that nine dotted Blackpool by trying to go into a brick. 3-2 up instead of 3-2 down to miss. It was the sheer pressure of the opponent that produced the nine dot against Taylor, but Taylor against Mason. Lloyd needs another one of those here to put pressure on the Mason 100. throw. He's left himself a finish. So, to remind you, earlier on today, in the fourth round against Andy Hayfield, Lloyd checked out 170. If ever he needed it, again, it's now. But beautiful pressure on the shot from Mason. If Lloyd doesn't crack it out, Mace could take two darts to sink the world number one. 58. Massive pressure then. Pressure two darts could do it. 25. Goes the other way for double eight from this. Two fours to sink the world number one. Yes. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Chris Mason, the world number one, is out, beaten by a man in inspired form. Chris Mason has a real opportunity of winning this tournament. A fantastic...